Hey guys. Welcome to my channel. Today I will recap a movie called Life, which was released in 2017. So let's get into it without further delay. So sit back and enjoy this amazing sci-fi thriller. On a space station, a quarantine officer Dr. Miranda reports that the Pilgrim capsule with its valuable Mars soil samples completed its eight-month return from Mars. They were preparing to receive the samples, and that has been their purpose for the last few months, but the Pilgrim capsule has been damaged. It got struck by debris and veered off. Rory, an ISS engineer, will spacewalk and grab it with the remote arm. Rory goes out into space while others guide him from inside. They warn Rory that it is moving very fast and he should move aside, but Rory doesn't listen and manages to capture it, making them all very happy. Miranda reports back that the samples are safe and sound. A few days later, another crew member, Hugh who is an exobiologist is working on the samples they retrieved from space. He announces that the Pilgrim is not just seeing things on Mars, he is also seeing some cells in the soil sample. It is just like the cell of any living organism on Earth. The news excites the whole team, and Hugh starts to apply different temperatures to make the thing come alive. After several tries, their efforts pay off, and the thing starts to move a little. They become the team to find the first proof of life beyond Earth. The news spreads rapidly on the Earth and they organize a session in which students from the Earth ask them questions about the alien and also the general life at a space station. The crew answers the curious kids' questions with interest, telling them how much time different crew members had spent on the station and how basic things work in space. Then they are linked to a child from the school, which is chosen from a list of 15,000, to choose a name for the alien. The girl says that they all decided on the name Calvin for the alien. Later, all the crew members are talking among themselves. When Miranda asks David if he misses something from back on Earth as he is the one who has spent the longest on the station. But David says that he remembers the time when he went to war in Syria and doesn't want to be connected with anything like that. Miranda tries to persuade him that Earth is still their home and that it is beautiful, but David says he prefers his life here. Meanwhile, Hugh is still working on Calvin and is impressed to see its rapid growth. According to him, it is not something that will divide in the future, it is one big thing, and every cell is a muscle and nerve cell in itself. Hugh says that Calvin now possesses the ability to interact with this environment. He then demonstrates his claim and moves a finger toward Calvin. It responds, wraps itself a little around Hugh's finger, and follows the movements of the finger. Everyone on the station teases Hugh about becoming a father now that the thing is growing. Following that, the crew member SHO lives on Earth via video call so that he can be present for the wife's delivery. All of them congratulate him as he shows his newborn to everyone. Hugh is in his lab interacting with Calvin when there are sudden alarms in the lab. Rory quickly fixes the problem, and they are sure that Calvin is fine, but Miranda is not happy as one of their firewalls failed, but they all agree that it was their first and last mistake. Later, they report to Earth that Calvin is completely inactive, which could be due to a clamp failure or a defense system. They also decide to seal the lab for a while so they can repair the things, and it is good Calvin is not very active at the moment. Hugh is not very happy with the decision and says that due to Calvin, they were learning a lot of new things about life, and he will fix Calvin as soon as possible. Hugh then decides to give Calvin an electric shock to wake him up. He applies a very low voltage, and after a while, it wakes up. Calvin wraps himself around Hugh's gloved hand with a very strong grip. Hugh tries to free his hand but fails. His crew members ask him to stay calm and suggest distracting the thing, but it doesn't work. Calvin grips Hugh's hand tightly and crashes into it completely. Rory wants to go inside the lab, but others ask him to stay out because there is nothing that will protect him. Hugh finally manages to pull his completely crushed hand back and collapses to the floor. Calvin tries to get out of the container, but when he fails after the first few attempts, he latches himself onto a tool and breaks it. He then uses the broken tool to cut the glove that was left behind by Hugh and gets out of the container. Calvin slowly wanders around in the lab and then goes to the mouse they have kept there for experiments and brutally kills it. Rory finally loses his patience and goes inside. After the door is opened, they finally pull Hugh out but fail to get Rory out, and he remains stuck there. After killing the mouse, Calvin is now bigger than before and moves around the lab. An enraged Rory is determined to kill Calvin and uses the flame-throwing incinerator, even though he fires repeatedly and Calvin dodges all the attacks. When Rory runs out of fuel, Calvin attacks him, goes into his mouth, devours his organs, and kills him. After a few minutes, he gets out of Rory's mouth, way bigger than before, and gets out of the fire vent even though the other crew members try to block his path. They have no idea where Calvin is, and as they wrap up Rory's body, they decide to inform the Earth. 
ISS Mission Commander Ekaterina, also known as Kat, makes a call and starts saying that the alien is dangerous, but before she could complete her report, SHO informs her that they have lost all connection with the Earth. They find that the problem is due to overheating, so they have to spacewalk to fix it. Kat decides to go out, saying that she is the best for the job after Rory. She goes out and figures that it is possible that Calvin went into the coolant. Hugh agrees with her and says that it is possible because Calvin also needs the resources to live. Suddenly Calvin comes out of the coolant and latches himself onto Kat's suit, rupturing her spacesuit's coolant system. When her suit fills with coolant, she decides to go inside through the airlock, but she realizes that Calvin would also go inside if she tried it, so she decides to remain outside and after some time, loses her life and floats away into space, leaving them all devastated. Calvin jumped back onto the station from Kat's suit and is now attempting to enter. Calvin tries to use maneuvering thrusts to get inside, but the crew spots him and fires the thrust to blast it away. They fire so much that they burn a lot of fuel, which causes the station to enter a decaying orbit where it will turn into ashes in the Earth's atmosphere. SHO says that he can use the remaining fuel to get back to the safe place, even though it will give Calvin a chance to re-enter the station. Hughes says that the creature must have dominated Mars for hundreds of years, but it is a known fact that they hibernate, so if they deprived him of any type of oxygen or life support, he may go to sleep, and for the time being, they will seal themselves into another part. They seal themselves on one side of the station and get ready to vent the atmosphere from the other side to render Calvin dormant. They talk among themselves and reminisce about moments from their lives on Earth and also remember their dead team members, not knowing that their enemy, Calvin, is feeding on Hugh, a paraplegic with no life below the waist. When Hugh suddenly feels sick and loses his heartbeat, they all panic. After Miranda and David revive him back to life, Miranda notices something move in Hugh's leg. When they open the bandage on his leg, a huge Calvin jumps out of it, shocking them. Calvin attacks them, and they all run away. SHO seals himself in a hibernating pod. Calvin tries to break in, but after failing, he goes back inside, where Miranda and David are trying to move Hugh, who finally loses his fight and dies. Miranda and David use Hugh's corpse to push Calvin away, and then David runs to the other side. Miranda says that she only feels pure hatred for the thing and wants it dead as soon as possible. They suddenly hear some pinging noise and realize that Calvin must have swallowed the marker on Hugh's leg. They use the marker to track him, trapping him inside a compartment and cutting off all the oxygen. Miranda and David suddenly notice a spacecraft named Soyuz coming toward their station. They are excited because they believe it has come to keep them safe, but when it does not respond to any of their messages or signs and continues to move toward them at a rapid pace. Miranda says that they are not coming to rescue them but to get rid of them because they cannot risk Calvin going on Earth. Just as they are talking, Soyuz clashes with the station, which is trying to push it into deep space. The collision cracks the hibernation pod, and SHO gets out of it still thinking that the spacecraft is here to save them. He goes into the compartment they have locked Calvin in, even though Miranda tries to stop him, and opens the airlock in the hope of getting onto Soyuz. SHO manages to board Soyuz, but Calvin follows him and kills the whole crew of Soyuz. When a docking breach occurs, SHO decides to sacrifice himself and tries to trap Calvin and Soyuz, but fails in his task. Soyuz suddenly detaches and crashes into the station, causing its orbit to decay again. David and Miranda are now the only survivors on the station. They speculate that Calvin could survive re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere and have plans to lure him into one of the station's escape pods. Once inside, David will manually pilot the escaping pod Calvin is in, isolating it, and then Miranda will be able to go back to Earth in another pod. They go through the plan, and David lowers Calvin into his pod and flies away into space while Miranda also launches her pod. When Miranda's pod flies in one direction, she records a black box message to warn the people on Earth about Calvin's threat. Following that, one pod is hit by debris, and Calvin attacks David while he is attempting to fly the pod. After some time, one pod lands in the sea and is later found by a fisherman in Vietnam, while the other pod flies away into space. The pod in the sea is the one David was flying, while Miranda's pod floats into deep space. In Vietnam, the fisherman opens the pod even though David tries to warn him just as the other boats arrive at the scene. Thanks for watching the recap. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video so you don't miss any content from us. Stay tuned for more thrilling and amazing movies. See you soon. Bye.